Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm Sayyid Dusimadi, and uh, today uh, we will discuss uh, uh, the hematopoiesis. What basically the hematopoiesis is? So it is derived from two words, the hemet and poiesis. Hemet means blood, and poiesis uh, means formation. So the formation of cellular component of blood is called hematopoiesis. Now, coming towards the blood composition. So blood is uh, basically formed by two components. That is the first one is a cellular component and the second one is a plasma. Now in cellular component, we have RBCs, WBCs and platelets. The different types of uh, WBCs are fills like neutrophils, basophils, eosinophils. Um, here we have monocytes and lymphocytes, which are again subdivided into three types, T lymphocytes, uh, B lymphocytes, and the natural killer cells. Now, coming to plasma, so plasma is basically made by uh, water, that is 92% of the plasma is uh, water. Uh, we have um ions in plasma and uh, different types of uh, proteins uh, mainly the albumin globulin and fibronitin here we have the hematopoietic stem cell then the myeloid stem cell lymphoid stem cell and uh, then the mega karyoblast proerythroblast myeloblast monoblast here we have the lymphoblast and again then this megakaryocyte reticulocyte and uh, mm, then this megakaryocyte to platelets erythrocyte basophil, uh, basophil natru, uh, neutrophils uh, eosinophils here the monocyte here the natural killer cells anti lymphocytes and b lymphocytes Oh, uh, first of all, we will be just uh, discussing about the stem cell, what basically the stem cell is. So the stem cell is any cell which undergo division and differentiate into um, some other types of cell as well as maintain its own population. That is, this hematopoietic stem cell will undergo division and it will form the myelite stem cell uh, that will differentiate into myelite stem cell and lymphoid stem cell and again it will also maintain its own population here in myeloid lineage we also have the stem cell so here myeloid will again divide into or differentiate into megakaryoblast proerythroblast myeloblast monoblast and will also maintain its own population similar in the case of the lymphoid stem cell that will differentiate into the lymphoblast and will maintain its own population now what are blasts blasts are rapidly dividing cells uh, means uh, they they are rapidly dividing these cells are rapidly dividing coming to this picture in a big detail but first of all we will go from very basic what we have in our blood two components the cellular component and the plasma as we have already discussed in the previous slide here the cellular component and the plasma in cellular components we have platelets erythrocytes basophils neutrophils eosinophils monocytes natural cells, t lymphocytes b lymphocytes erythrocytes you all know red blood cells, platelets, you all know. And these uh, fills like basophil, neutrophil, eosinophil, monocyte, natural killer cells, T lymphocytes, B lymphocytes, they all are collectively called white blood cells. So in blood, we have white blood cells, or leukocytes, erythrocytes, or red blood cells, and platelets. Now, have you think of this from where these cells originate and come into the blood? So, let's 
look at this uh, at these platelets platelets are um, coming from mega karyocytes these are the cells which are coming from the mega karyoblast now when mega karyoblast these are the rapidly dividing cells they convert into the mega karyocytes then the mega karyocytes have these blebbings now membrane blebs these membrane blebs uh, they detach from these mega karyocytes and forms the platelets the mega karyoblasts are again are coming from the myelin stem cell so this was the story of the platelets now coming towards the erythrocyte or the red blood cells so red blood cells are coming from the reticulocyte this is the immature rbc which is just formed from the pro erythroblast here we have a lot of ribosomal rna in this uh, reticulocytes and this why uh, we have this uh, basophilic uh, basophil uh, strain in this reticulocytes while here in uh, erythrocytes the mature rbc we don't have the reticulocytes are again coming from the pro erythroblast and eventually from the myelite stem cell okay now coming towards the basophil neutrophil and eosinophil these all are coming from a rapidly dividing cell which is called myeloblast and this myeloblast is coming from the myeloid stem cell the monocyte here you can see the monocyte they are coming from the monoblast and again the monoblast are coming from the myeloid stem cell so we can say that myeloid stem cell can differentiate into mega karyoblast pro erythroblast myeloblast monoblast then the mega karyoblast um, differentiate into uh, this is a rapidly dividing cell and can form the mega karyocyte and the membrane blips are po Uh, the membrane blips of this uh, mega karyocyte is called they are detached from this cells and they form platelets the pro erythroblast which are coming after the differentiation of a um, myelin stem cell into a pro, a pro erythroblast they will form the reticulocyte and then the reticulocytes will mature into the erythrocyte or red blood cells similarly the myeloid stem cell differentiate into the myeloblast and uh, here we can have three varieties of cells that is the basophil neutrophil and eosinophil in blood or uh, in blood smear you have to see this blue staining in the basophils and so b4 blue and b4 basophil in eosinophil you have to see for this pink or red color while in neutrophil you have to see for this uh, process of the nucleus three process usually and uh, in monocytes you have to see for this type of nucleus okay monocytes are again coming from the monoblast and uh, they are coming from the myelin stem cell So this was the story of the myeloid stem cell. Now coming towards the lymphoid stem cell, the natural blood cells, which are so called large granular lymphocytes, they are coming from the lymphoblast, which are the rapidly dividing cells. So they differentiate into natural blood cells and small lymphocytes. The large lymphocytes is a natural blood cell. The small lymphocytes are T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. Lymphoblast again coming from the lymphoid stem cell, and we could see from this slide that myeloid stem cell and lymphoid stem cells are coming from the hematopoietic stem cell. Now, 
hematopoietic stem cells and edges they are found in the bone marrow so they are found in the bone marrow and they differentiate into myelite stem cell lymphoid stem cell the myelite stem cell uh, again uh, differentiate into the megakaryoblast proerythroblast myeloblast monoblast the megakaryoblast divides and form the megakaryocytes the membrane blips of megakaryocytes forms the platelets proerythroblast forms the reticulocyte and when it matures it becomes the erythrocyte the myeloblast forms the basophils neutrophils eosinophils the monoblast uh, forms the monocytes in lymphoid lineage the lymphoid stem cell uh, differentiate into the lymphoblast and there are again forming the natural killer cells which are large granular lymphocytes and the small lymphocytes which are t lymphocytes and b lymphocytes so this was a story of hematopoiesis how the different cellular components of uh, blood coming into the blood uh, the cellular components of blood coming into the blood uh, and how they are formed again we have uh, this uh, uh, no this rbc but uh, the erythropoiesis mainly um okay sorry we will discuss uh, some day later so this was about, this was all about the hematopoietic stem cell thank you very much